Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. There in this video we are going to discuss the MCQs of chemistry 11th chapter 4 liquid and solids. So यहाँ पे पहले portion में हम यहाँ पे देखेंगे liquids के मुतालिक जो exercise में MCQs दिए हुए हैं. उनमें पहला MCQs है London dispersion forces are the only forces present among the molecules of water in liquid state. Atoms of helium in gaseous state at high temperature. Molecules of solid iodine and fourth option is molecules of hydrogen chloride gas. So, dear London forces are the more prominent among the non-polar big sized molecules like iodine. Iodine is a member of 7A group. All the halogens are non-polar diatomic molecules. Anyhow, the polarizability of other halogen is less than that of iodine molecule. So, the exact answer is molecules of solid iodine second mcqs hamare paas hai acetone and chloroform are soluble in each other due to intermolecular hydrogen bonding dipole dipole interaction instantaneous dipoles or all of the above so there there are three chlorine atoms in chcl3 these three chlorine atoms deprive the carbon atoms of its electrons due to inductive effect so ch bonds also become polar as you can see in this diagram the hydrogen atom develops sufficient partial positive charge you can see in this diagram that hydrogen atoms develop sufficient partial positive charge thus partial positively charged hydrogen atoms can form a strong hydrogen bond with oxygen atom of acetone in this diagram you can see the structure of acetone that is the structure of acetone molecule and that is the structure of chloroform molecule and hydrogen यहाँ पे देखें chloroform की जो hydrogen है इसके ऊपर positive charge है और acetone जो है उसकी जो यहाँ पे oxygen है इसके ऊपर negative charge है तो यहाँ पे chloroform की positively charged hydrogen atom acetone की negatively charged oxygen atom के साथ यहाँ पे hydrogen bond बना लेती है जिसकी वजह से ये दोनों एक दूसरे के अंदर soluble हो जाते हैं so the exact answer हमारे पास क्या है intermolecular hydrogen bonding acetone and chloroform are soluble in each other due to intermolecular hydrogen bonding ammonia shows a maximum boiling point among the hydrides of fifth group elements due to very small size of nitrogen lone pair of electron present on nitrogen enhanced electronegative character of nitrogen pyramidal structure of ammonia so there in group 5a of the periodic table nitrogen is highly electronegative it develops sufficient partial negative charge in ammonia molecules this cause strong hydrogen bonding among the molecules of ammonia and its boiling point is higher than the boiling point of ph3 ash3 etc so the exact answer hamare paas kya hai enhanced electronegative character of nitrogen when water freezes at 0 degree centigrade its density decreases due to cubic structure of ice empty spaces present in the structure of ice change of bond length ya change of bond angles so there the molecules of water is bent the hydrogen bonds are fixed at their position thus weakened spaces are left behind that is why when water freezes at 0 degree centigrade it, it occupies 9% more spaces and its density is decreases as compared to liquid water jab water आइस में कन्वर्ट होता है तो हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग की वजह से इनके मॉलिक्यूल्स के درمیان स्पेसेस क्रिएट हो जाती हैं जिसकी वजह से वॉल्यूम जो है वो बढ़ जाता है और आपको मालूम है d is equal to होता है m over v यानी कि डेंसिटी वॉल्यूम के इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल होती है जब वॉल्यूम बढ़ेगा तो डेंसिटी कम हो जाएगी सो द एग्जैक्ट आंसर इज एम्प्टी स्पेसेस प्रेजेंट इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आइस Next, in order to mention the boiling point of water at 110 degree centigrade, external pressure should be between 760 torr and 1200 torr, between 200 torr and 760 torr, 765 torr, or yeah, any value of the pressure. So, there water boils at 100 degree centigrade when external pressure is 760 torr. It can boil at 110 degree centigrade if pressure is above 760 torr. So, the exact answer is between 760 torr and uh, 1200 torr. There, now we will discuss karte hai questions, uh, MCQs, question solids ke matalik, jo exercise mein diye hoi hai. Pahla MCQs hai, ionic solids are characterized by low melting point, good conductivity in solid state, 
हाई वेपर प्रेशर या सोलबिलिटी इन पोलर सॉल्वेंट्स तो डेयर आयनिक सोलर्स आर कंसिस्टेड ऑफ आइंस देयर क्रिस्टल लेटर्स इज इजली ब्रोकन बाय पोलर वाटर मालिक्यूल्स द आइंस आर डिस्पर्स्ड इन वाटर एंड सॉल्वेटेड बाय वाटर मालिक्यूल्स सो द एग्जैक्ट आंसर इज सॉल्युबिलिटी इन पोलर सॉल्वेंट्स अमॉर्फिस सॉलिड्स हैव शार्प मेल्टिंग पॉइंट अंडरगो क्लीन क्लीवेज व्हेन कट विद नाइफ हैव परफेक्ट अरेंजमेंट ऑफ एटम्स कैन प्रोसेस इन स्मॉल रीजंस ऑफ ऑर्डरली अरेंजमेंट ऑफ एटम्स तो देयर the solids in which atoms ions or molecules have irregular arrangements are called amorphous solids a long range regularity does not exist in between them but they possess small degree of orderly arrangement these regions are called crystalloids so the exact answer is can possess a small region of orderly arrangement of atoms next hamare paas hai the molecules of carbon dioxide in dry ice forms ionic crystals covalent crystals molecular crystals or any type of crystals so there molecules of carbon dioxide in dry ice are nonpolar the solid forming nonpolar molecules are called as molecular crystals the nonpolar molecules are at the latest points of a molecular crystals so the exact answer is molecular crystals the molecule of carbon dioxide in dry ice form the molecular crystals which of the following is a pseudo solid caf2 glass nacl yeah all of these so there pseudo solids can be regarded as super cooled liquid among these only glass is regarded as pseudo solid so the exact answer is glass there diamond is a bad conductor of electricity because it has tight structure it has a high density there are no free electrons present in the crystals of diamond to conduct electricity none of the above to so, pyare dosto uh, covalent solids are bad conductor of electricity due to absence of free electrons diamond is one of the best examples of covalent solids and hence bad conductor so the exact answer is there are no free electrons present in the crystals of diamond to conduct electricity and the exact answer is there are no free electrons present in the crystals of diamond to conduct electricity due to which diamond is a bad conductor of electricity to pyare dosto aaj ke liye itna hi inshallah next video mein ek naye topic ke sath milenge tab tak ke liye allah hafiz